The MN4000 comprises of a chassis mount which mounts permanently in the actual panel and a camera package which plugs into it. And this device will monitor electrical equipment behind the panel and it communicates by Modbus TCP and there is function blocks available to download from our website which makes it easy to integrate into any PLC. And this particular demonstration we're going to show you now is using a bit of bushy PLC using the foresaid function blocks. The camera package has just been plugged in and as you can see it's now displaying the thermal image. And that timeout is quite normal. The camera is still fully functional, it's just a LCD display times out. And if you wish to enable it again, you simply press this button. And now we can go forwards. You can, with this button, enable a menu system. So you can change to highlight mode. And now you'll see a visual image with any thermal hotspots indicating in red and in this particular image there's just a few round the corner here. The menu system can access most functions of the MN4000 unit so as you can see you've got image type you can change, you've got rising isotherm, colorization, falling isotherm, LED on or off and then you've got Network, all the network um, information available. The unit is set up for thermal imaging. And you can change that on this actual joystick here, but at the moment it indicates thermal imaging. So what we're going to do is to simulate a fault condition. So what I will do, I will initiate the fault condition. Now as you can see, the alarm is indicating error condition. So now you can see the particular fuse block which is an error and you can see the actual temperature that the actual camera is looking at now. It's looking across this line here. And now we can also investigate by looking at the actual thermal image of the actual MN4000 unit itself. So now we're actually looking at the thermal image the MN4000 is seeing and as you can see the error condition is indicated by this overheating element here. The MN4000 communicates in this particular case, it's a Mitsubishi PLC and it communicates via Modbus TCP and all the software done is all done by our function blocks which are available to download from our website and then you can put them in the software PLC package and basically that's all the hard work done and then you can get results like we've just shown here.